In this video, we are talking about the Beta 9 of Ecamm Live version 3.10, which has just been released, and it's got three great new features, as always. So uh, let's dig into them. But before I do, I'll just mention that if you aren't already using the Beta, you can go and download it. It's a uh, uh, public Beta. There are no limitations on who can use it. And I have to say, they're always really stable. I use the Beta exclusively rather than the uh, regular version of Ecamm Live because I just can't wait for all of these new features. <laughs> and I don't have any issues with uh, creating my videos or my live streams or anything like that. So uh, rest assured, it is generally pretty stable. But that said, do just bear in mind that it is beta software. So uh, the whole point of that is to find out any little niggly issues and things like that. But generally, you'll find that it's pretty stable. So, uh, and by the way, it does run side by side with the regular version. So you don't have to pick between one or another. Uh, they will both just sit in your uh, dock on your Mac and you can choose which one you want to use. But as I say, I'm pretty much exclusively beta these days. Uh, now also, just bear in mind that there is a separate Facebook group as well for the beta. So if you are using the beta, then be sure to go and uh, post any comments, questions, feedback, things like that in the uh, Facebook group for the beta rather than the uh, regular Ecamm Facebook group. I'll leave a link to all of these things down in the description. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we, instead of me waffling on. Uh, and let's get into what are the new features. Well, here they are, three new features. Uh, first of all, one is that it now has support for uh, OneStream as a live destination. So OneStream is a service very similar to uh, Restream.io or things like that, where you can basically stream from Ecamm into that platform. And then from that platform, they will then stream out to all of your other different uh, uh, profiles on YouTube, Facebook, and the like. Uh, just one thing to bear in mind with this. Personally, when I started my channel, I jumped right into Restream, started streaming out to all of the places. <laughs> but do just bear in mind that you are potentially fragmenting your audience by doing that. So just because we can stream to all these places, doesn't necessarily mean it's a great idea. But in any case, I'll leave you uh, grown adults to decide for yourself what's best in that respect. But what I will show you is uh, what, uh, what sorry, OneStream.live is. Uh, this is it. It is a service, as I say, pretty similar to Restream. Uh, you're streaming from Ecamm into their service, and then they are then streaming out to all of your other platforms. Uh, why is that a benefit to have this sort of intermediary in the middle? Uh, well, basically, it means that you've still only got the load on your computer of streaming out to one destination, and they're handling the workload of putting it out to all of those other places. So what does this look like from an Ecamm perspective? Well, if you are familiar with the view that you see on Ecamm Live, then uh, you'll see something that looks a little bit like this. You'll be used to these sort of tools that you've got on the screen around you, the little icons down the side and the bottom and whatever. So what you're seeing now is what it would look like if I was uh, about to start a recording. So I'd have the little record button down here. Uh, and then down in the bottom corner, you've got the uh, the destination. And that is where this new uh, uh, destination has been added. So now you can see that we've now got the uh, onestream.live is the, uh, the new destination that's been added. Uh, and if you click on that, then it will open up the and presumably this is the first time you've used it if you're watching this uh, this video um, so you will see the prompt to log in by the way the more info uh, that will actually just take you through to the uh, one stream website might be an idea to click on that link to actually get to it to set up your account because then they'll know that ecamm have sent you <laughs> but then once you click on the uh, uh, the login button then that's basically just going to open up the uh, the pop-up uh, one second, that one, <laughs> that will prompt you to uh, basically enter your uh, login details and so on. And then you'll be good to go and stream out to uh, OneStream in the usual manner. So that is uh, the first new feature that has been added to this beta. Next one that has been added is a new uh, Stream Deck key to uh, change Ecamm profiles. So We've got profiles on Stream Deck and we also have profiles on Ecamm as of the uh, the last major release version, don't we? So uh, what this allows you to do is basically have a key on your Stream Deck so that you can flick between your different profiles in Ecamm Live. Now, this is something I've been doing up until now with uh, Keyboard Maestro. So very pleased to see that it is now built in. So let's have a little look, shall we, at exactly what this looks like. Well, uh, here is my uh, my Stream Deck profile. I'll leave a link, by the way, to this video that I did all about my, uh, my profile that I use for Stream Deck and Loop Deck together. Uh, I'll leave that as the last video on the outro screen, actually, because you may be interested to see that. Uh, but here I've created a little space um, for this uh, new button. Uh, I've deleted my old keyboard maestro action. And uh, by the way, one thing I should say is as part of this update, in order to get the uh, Stream Deck profile, um, what you will find is that you'll get a little pop up when you install the Ecamm beta, which says, uh, uh, do you want to update your Stream 
Stream Deck plugin? So of course, the answer is yes. We always want the new features. <laughs> and once you've uh, clicked on that, then you'll also get a secondary pop-up from uh, the uh, Stream Deck itself, the Stream Deck software, uh, asking, just double checking, do you want to install this uh, plugin? So go ahead and uh, approve that as well. So back over here, <laughs> I'll just gloss over that little mistake. Uh, back over here, we've got this little space for the plugin. Uh, and this is basically uh, right down at the bottom of this long list of Ecamm actions. I've got to give my take my hat off every time I mention this, but they've just got such a huge range of act actions. It's like the biggest list of any app that I currently use that have uh, got Stream Deck integration. So they're always adding new things and there's soon not going to be anything in, in uh, Ecamm that you won't be able to do with uh, Stream Deck. So uh, great work there and Loop Deck as well, by the way. Um, so let me just drag over this uh, switch profile. And all you can see is we've got the option to give it a title. So I'll just say this is my Take One Tech profile. Uh, of course, I will make, if I can spell, <laughs> I'll make a, uh, a little icon for this as well. Uh, and then we've got the profile and it's just got a list now of all of your different uh, profiles. And somewhere right down at the bottom of this list, uh, is my TOT. So now that is my Take One Tech profile. So if I had been on a Zoom call or something like that for uh, some business uh, use case for Ecamm and then I wanted to come over and make one of my videos, uh, then now I could just simply press this button up here and it would uh, just get that all set up and ready for me. But if you want to be a little bit more clever about this, perhaps you have a different profile on your Stream Deck for all of your different use cases of Ecamm as well. So in that case, let me just delete that and let me rather create a multi-action because here what we could do is if I come into uh, the actions, so uh, by the way, uh, just in case, I just went too quickly there. <laughs> that is right click and create multi-action. Uh, you can also do it from the Stream Deck menu on the right side, but just right click and multi-action. Uh, and then I'm gonna come down here and click into the actions. Uh, and now what we can do is we can add this switch profile on Ecamm. So let's say I want to do the same thing that I've just done there. So I'm gonna make that my Take One Tech profile. Um, but we've also, if I come up to the top and in the Stream Deck actions, we've also got switch profile in here. So here here what I can do is uh, you can see that it's already brought up the latest one that I'm using. So this is my Take One Tech recording profile. Uh, and you can even select the page, by the way, when you're using these things. So if you've got multiple pages in a profile, you can actually select the exact page. Um, but what that would do is uh, now this multi-action is basically, I mean, I'm actually in my recording profile, aren't I? But uh, you get the idea. What that would do is if I had that on my sort of my, my home screen, if you like, of my um, uh, stream deck then pressing that would switch to my take one tech recording uh, stream deck profile but at the same time it would also switch over to my take one tech profile on the uh, ecamm live as well so that's a great little use case for that uh, that new action that has been added to the stream deck for us uh, thank you very much ecamm development team the massive development team behind it <laughs> like Ken and Glenn, the twins. So anyway, let me have a look at what is uh, next coming up. And so the uh, next action that has been added in is the movie start behavior. In one of the earlier versions of the beta for this uh, this version, um, I forget exactly which beta number it was, but in one of them, they added in the uh, the ability to adjust the way that a movie that is embedded as the sort of uh, the... the uh, the source of the scene, uh, you could actually change the start behavior so that uh, originally it always used to be that when you started a scene that had a movie as the uh, source, then the movie would just start playing from the beginning. Well, in one of the earlier versions, they added in the ability to change that so that you could either have it sort of picking up from where it left off or starting at the beginning. But the way that you adjusted that was from uh, the menu bar. Uh, so what they've done now is they've actually added it into the uh, the movie time uh, time uh, bar instead. So what that looks like is if you think about this uh, sort of player bar that you would normally get when you've added a movie in uh, and you can scrub it along and then there was always this uh, this little drop down here. In fact, it used to be on the other side, I think, but this was when the movie ends, what do you want to do? Do you want to do nothing? Uh, do you want to uh, le uh, loop the video, go to the next scene or end the broadcast? Um, well, now basically what they've done is they've just added another little function uh, that has got the starting 
behavior as well. So do you want to start from the beginning of the movie or do you want to start from the uh, the last position where it was left off? So the reason why you would use this is because now you can basically uh, just queue up a movie and have it exactly where you want it so that when you switch to that scene, it will start playing. Uh, or if you are sort of talking over something, uh, maybe you want to flick away from the scene and then come back again and pick up where you left off. So those are really the uh, three new features that have been added into the beta. And if you think actually of all the features that have been added in the past, uh, this and the past eight betas before it, uh, it's really quite a long list. So I'm looking forward. I think we're getting quite close to this actually being the sort of final release of 3.10 now. Uh, but it is going to be a massive leap forward for those that are just using that version. Now, I'm going to leave a link to the video coming up right now, uh, which is the video I did all about how to set up my uh, Stream Deck and Loop Deck together to work with Ecamm. So that might be something that you're interested in. So take a look at that and I'll see you there.